Hello, I'm Kyle Bradshaw from Chapel Motorsports, and today I want to introduce you to the F70 Full Face Fiberglass Helmet from HJC. This is going to weigh in at just 3.3 pounds, and it's going to be a fiberglass composite shell. It's going to be lightweight, it's going to have smaller shell sizes, and it's going to have superior fit. Now this all comes in at right around the $269 to $279 price point. A couple of the other key benefits of this particular helmet is the fact it's going to have a superior ventilation system. It's going to feature a multi-cool interior liner that's going to allow you to stay cooler. It's going to have an anti-fog prepared lens and additionally, it's going to have a drop-down sun visor. When it comes to protection rating or standards, this is DOT and ECE rated. Now let's start at the front of the helmet, work our way back so we can give you a full on detailed breakdown of this new F70 helmet from HJC. Now this brand new F70 helmet from HJC comes in several different colors. For the solids we have white, black, semi-flat titanium, semi-flat black, and stone gray. And when it comes to colors and graphics, we also have the Ferron graphic in several different colors as well as the Mago. Now starting at the front of the helmet, let's take a look at ventilation. We have two different vent ports here on the front of the helmet. One's gonna slide down to open, and that's gonna put air directly into the helmet. And then we have this guy right here that's gonna pop open, that's gonna give you ventilation up into the visor on the inside of the helmet. So two different vents that you can open that do two different functions. Now I want you to know that these vents function very easily with a gloved hand. Again, one slides down and one just pops open simply like that. Moving up to the top of the helmet, we have two slider vents. These are gonna simply slide back here on the top of the helmet, allowing you channeling for two different intakes. Now when this intake vent is slid open, something else unique happens. Back here on the back of the helmet, when this vent is closed, so is the exhaust port here, but as you pull this backwards, these little fins kind of open up here on the bottom, allowing a venturi effect here for this exhaust vent that's now up here on the top of the helmet. Moving further around to the back of the helmet, we have an exhaust vent here in the center, as well as exhaust vents here on the side. Now on first look at the helmet, I thought that these vents might open and close, might be a sliding tab like we found here on the top of the helmet, but that wasn't the case. This is, these are all affixed and these vents are always in the open position. Moving down to the bottom of the helmet, we have what looks like an exhaust vent here at the bottom. But in looking a little closer, this is more like a spoiler system for the bottom of the helmet. The other thing you notice here at the bottom is this helmet is Smart HJC compatible. So HJC now has their own proprietary communication system. They worked with Cena, and they now have a 10B and a 20B unit. So that Smart HJC unit is going to be the likes of, say, an SMH10 or a 20S communication system as far as the functionality that goes between those two. Take a look at the link below. We'll take you directly to that page so you can research more about the communication system that this helmet is already set up for. Now, moving around to the front of the helmet again, let's take a look at the visor. So the visor, or face shield as some people call it, is going to have a very smooth mechanism. It has very small detents. Um, that you could rest the shield in a certain spot, but they're not strong enough in order to keep the shield from closing when riding down the road. This smooth mechanism makes it very easy to open and close the visor. So a very unique feature of this helmet is the fact that it has a tab here on either side of the helmet, so you can open and close the helmet with either your right or your left hand. Now one thing I was surprised to see was the fact that this helmet does not have their rapid fire release system. You actually have to get a screwdriver out in order to be able to remove this visor from the helmet. Now the shield itself here does have an anti-fog coating on it and the vent here on the front of the helmet is gonna help keep this visor fog free. But if you happen to live in a climate where it does get very cold and fogging is prevalent, this shield is pin lock that gives you basically a dual pane window effect on the inside of the helmet. Another thing you're gonna notice is this large breath box here. This is gonna keep your breath from coming up and actually hitting the shield, which is gonna help it be anti-fog as well. Now, for those of you who aren't a fan of this breath box system, you can remove that simply by pulling the little tabs. And this is what the helmet looks like with the breath box removed. 
Now, while speaking of visors, we do have a drop down sun visor that's actuated here on the side by this simple tab. There is a detent that holds it up into place. Now, once you break free from that initial detent there that keeps the shield pulled back up into the helmet, it slides down nice and easy and provides lots of coverage. Now that we've taken a look at and explored the features that we find on the outside of this helmet, let's go ahead and flip this helmet over and take a look at what's on the inside. The first thing that we're gonna notice is a D-ring closure. This is a double D-ring. This is a very common, probably the most common helmet closure system available for helmets today. Uh, you basically have a double D-ring, you slide it through like that and then bring the tail back and snap it to the retention strap. That's gonna keep this from flapping around as you're riding down the road. Now looking into the helmet, the first thing we're gonna see is contoured cheek pads. These contoured cheek pads are gonna sit nicely around the bottom of your chin and around your neck and are gonna minimize the amount of air that's gonna come up underneath the helmet. Now speaking of air coming under the helmet, this chin curtain is going to do the same thing. It's gonna close that gap between the helmet and the bottom of your chin, allowing that to create um, air blockage, if you will. That way you don't get that air rushing up underneath your helmet. Now really quick, I wanna let you know that the feel of the inside of this helmet feels really good. This is a multi-cool liner that's proprietary to HJC, and it's going to be a moisture wicking antimicrobial liner that is machine washable once you get it removed. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna have, we should have three snaps that hold this cheek pad in place. And then we have two tabs right here at the very top. Once you get the three tabs underneath unsnapped or buttons unsnapped, you're gonna to come up to the top here and we're gonna have two pins that hold this flange in place between the outer shell and the EPS liner. Now removal of the cheek pad on the other side is exactly the same. I'm gonna go ahead and unsnap our three snaps. There we go. And now we're going to rotate out our second cheek pad. Now looking inside the helmet, we're gonna find the comfort liner here. We're gonna have two snaps here at the back. And then we're gonna come forward to the brow connection. Now the brow connection on this helmet I actually really like. It uh, doesn't snap at the forehead like we've seen in the past. It actually comes to this nice retention system here at the very top and front of the helmet. Couple snaps and the comfort liner is removed. Upon first look of the inside of this helmet, you're gonna notice three very large channels that have been built into the EPS liner of this helmet. That's gonna allow that front ventilation to come in and be pulled through the back of the helmet through those channels. The second thing I wanna call attention to is the Smart HJC integration to this helmet. You see that we have speaker pockets here that aren't just pieces of the polystyrene that have been hollowed out. It's actually a channel that has a plastic receptor that it looks like those speakers can actually snap into place. Let me move the chin strap here, and you can see that this helmet is also set up to allow the wiring to be pressed into the liner itself all the way forward to this section here where you're gonna mount your microphone. This helmet is completely set up for a seamless integration of that new smart HJC headset made by Cena. Now let's go ahead and try this F70 helmet on to see how it fits. Now this is a size large, 59 to 60. I typically wear a small, so it's gonna feel a little bit big or look a little bit big on camera. Pulling it on, I can tell you that the comfort liner itself is nice and plush. This rubber gasket right here is pretty tall. If I fold that down, I can definitely have a much larger field of vision. And when it is installed, it kind of shrinks my field of vision a bit. I'd have to look down in order to see my instrument cluster. I definitely am not able to see it through the bottom of the thing here. Let's throw some glasses on real quick. There is absolutely zero interference with my glasses. There are large cutouts on the side, so I don't think it would matter how thick the sides of your glasses are or the arms of your glasses, you will not have a problem with this particular helmet. It's going to give you the 360 degree. I'll go ahead and show you the drop down sun visor. Where's that? Here it is. Boom. I think they were going after that fighter pilot look with this helmet. It definitely feels like that here on the inside. 
Now with the sun visor closed and this interesting breath box component here, there is no light leaking in from the edges. It's a completely sealed dark area here from my vantage point. And there you have it guys, the detailed breakdown of the new F70 fiberglass helmet from HJC. You're looking for fiberglass, something that's lightweight, has a smaller shell size overall than some of the other helmets in the marketplace, this might be one for you to take a look at. If you like what you saw today, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more action like this coming directly to your inbox, please hit that subscribe button, and more importantly, the notification bell. Until next time, and as always, take care and ride safe out there.